Hello my friends, it's time for another episode of a 30 second card in 5 minutes. But you know what, I'm feeling it today, I know I can do it today, I, I just, I, I, I'm gonna do it, okay? So, have faith. <laughs> and if you're new to these episodes, a lot of times people will email me and say, you don't need to rush, you don't, well the whole idea behind the 30 second card in 5 minutes is because a long time ago when we first started this series, um, I really thought I could make a card in 30 seconds. And you really need to go, if you've never seen one of these episodes before, you really need to go onto our website and find the actual first one we ever did. Because even I watch it every once in a while, and I laugh hysterically because I, I'm, I'm crazy. I will be the first to admit it, and you all know it. I'm crazy. So I, it's just my reactions are hilarious. So you have to watch them. Watch the first one especially because it's hilarious. But I'm ready to do it today. I know I'm going to do it today. I, I'm going to beat my time. I Obviously, I know I can never do 30 seconds, really. But I'm going to beat my time today. I feel it. I, I, I'm, I, I just, I know. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a couple different stamp sets. I'm going to use the, um, gosh, I never remember the names. More Penguins to Love. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. <laughs> Ken's going to get so mad at me for not remembering the stamp set names. Um, stamped for you because, of course, we always need to do that on the back. That's a given. And then I'm going to use, um, I think I'm going to use the words to color a little bit, maybe not really, because I'm mainly going to focus on Born to Party, because that's, um, it's, I, I'm thinking I'm going to do a, um, uh, uh, just like a general party card, like it's a party kind of thing, so I'm thinking I'm going to use, it's a party, and then maybe celebrate, or something, I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet, but, um, the, the, <coughs> excuse me, the card stock I'm going to use, everyone always asks, so I'm just going to say it, the, I'm always, um, using the, um, card stock, Prismatic cardstock. It's basil cardstock, and I always get it from discountcardstock.com. I'm only saying that because people ask me all the time. So discountcardstock.com, they have the best prices. And I love the prismatic because when you stamp, it has texture, but when you stamp on it, it still gives you a good impression. So sometimes if you use um, cardstock that's striped, that has a striped texture, you don't get the right image when you stamp on it. So this is good for stamping. And I'm just using these random colors. I have the worst time picking out colors um, for my cards when I just use cardstock. This time I'm going to throw in, and you know, if you know me, you know I never do this. I'm throwing in some pattern paper, I think. You never know what's going to happen in the end. I always have these grand ideas and it never works out. I always change it in the middle. But this uh, paper is from my mind's eye. It's from the um, Lost and Found 2, and it's um, kind of new. So um, it should be hitting your stores. It's really cute. And I like the smaller patterns for cards. So I grabbed this and I thought, oh, I like those kind of together. So <sighs> breathe, breathe. And I have a hair on me. I can feel it. Don't you hate that? Okay. Okay. I think I'm ready. I'm, I'm really feeling it today. Cookie's not here to bother me. So I think I'm going to um, be able to figure this out. I'm, I'm going to use a, I'm going to do a horizontal card. I've already scored this on my score pal. And then I'm going to flatten it. Oh, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to stamp it. Oh, gosh. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to try this. We're just going to do it. We're just going to go and see what happens. So Ken has the timer. I'm impressed he has it ready. <sighs> Breathe. Okay. <coughs> Cough. Sorry. On your marks. Get set. Start the time. Okay. So I'm going to use my penguin set. And I love this cute little penguin because he's so cute. And the nice thing about the penguins is when you stamp them, you only have to do one color because penguins are... Usually, well, you could do other colors, but I'm doing black because penguins are generally black. I was actually in South Africa, and they had penguins. Little, oh, that one's missed a spot right there. They had penguins. Oh, now I got it over there. That were like at the beach. It was so weird. I'm telling you, it was the most random thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, now I'm just making a mess. Okay, we're just gonna. Eh, I missed that one spot. And I'm trying to get it. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp him right here. He is so cute. And I'm going to do it again because I want two on there. Because if you're going to have a party, you need two, right? And I'm going to make them hold hands right there. Perfect. Now, always, always when you're working, especially when you're working crazy like me, cover your ink pads. Because you'll always end up putting um, something on top of it and then you'll be really bummed. So I'm just going to trim this really quick because I'm going to use foam dots to pop these babies up. So I'm going to line that up. Okay, so I'm going to use that. And then I want... Oh, that'll be cute. Okay, hang on. I want to I want to cut this. And I don't know how much of this I want yet. I haven't figured that out. 
Okay, so this is a card size, so I'm going to line that up. And I always just kind of eyeball it, especially when I'm in a hurry, right? Okay, so that, and then let's just do, let's go for that, and I hope I didn't waste it. Okay, now I just want to trim a little bit more off this side. See, now if I was into math, I would have measured it, but I don't do math. People always ask me, can I ask you a question? And I say, sure, as long as it's not math related, because I don't do math. Now I need adhesive, and I love these the best. Where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? I can't find it. Ah, okay, we'll use another one, because this one's already loaded, ready to go. This one has my daughter's picture on it, so I like this one better anyway. Okay, so, so you want to see Katie's picture? There's Katie right there. That's my daughter. It's old packaging. This is an old one. This is the new version, the new packaging. It's not as cute because it doesn't have my kid's name on it, but what can you do, right? Okay, so I'm going to line this up. I should really ink the edges of this, even though I don't have time. I don't have time. Okay, can I, I'm trying to beat a time. I'm not trying to spend time. Okay, this is the quick card, remember? And I want to use the 3D foam squares because I want to pop this baby up. And I always get the questions, so I'm just going to answer them. The, um, I like adhesive from ThermoWeb. That's all the adhesive I use. So people like to ask me questions, and I like to try to answer them so you don't have to ask me because I get um, a lot of questions. What kind of this, what kind of that, and it so, helps if I just say it in the video. Okay, so I'm going to line that up, but you know what? I'm going to pull it down because i got to make sure my sentiment fits. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to stamp my sentiment, but you know what? I think I want it on the yellow because I want it to be a different color. So I'm going to, hang on, what's on the other side of this? Oh, no, that won't work. Okay, oh, that's cute. Okay, so I want to stamp my sentiment, although it would be cute. No, you know what? Hang on. I'm going to stamp it on here. Okay, here's black, and I have this big, uh, big block over here, and let's find, it's a, it's, a and this is separate so you could do like long ways or short ways or whatever ways you wanted whatever ways heh <laughs> okay so it's a and then I want to use um, from the other set the little dot 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 because it's not gonna say it's gonna have an inside sentiment so it's gonna say it's a dot 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 get it so you have to like go into the inside to find out what it is <laughs> okay so we're gonna ink that baby up and I'm going to stamp it, but I shouldn't have put the pop-up on there yet. So I'm just going to stamp this right in the middle. Hopefully it doesn't get, those pop foam dots don't get in the way of the stamping. Ah, perfect! Yay! Okay, cover the ink pad. Um, and then I, you'll always see me do that because I'm telling you, how many times have I done it where it gets all over? So I'm going to move those over. I've ruined too many projects. It's a party, right? We want to say party? Oh, I could use a smaller pad. Okay, so it's a party. My life is a party, I tell you. Okay, it's a party. That's cute. And let's see, I think I was going to say something else, but okay. Um, it's a party, but I want something else in here because that looks boring. So I'm going to get a piece of... Where'd that pattern paper go? Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Oh, here it is. So I'm going to make two little strips of pattern paper because I want the inside to look cute and it's not like doing it for me yet. So let's see. Uh, no, I don't like that either. Oh, that one's crooked. Yuck. Hang on. I'll do another one. Now, I mean, just because you're doing quick doesn't mean it can't be quality. We still want quality, right? So, oh, you know what? I'm going to do two. Oh, that'll be cute. Okay, hang on. Now we got to get our adhesive. Now our, this adhesive won't work good because it's too big for this. So sticky dots. Sticky dots are good. Now when you do sticky dots, don't do it on your table surface because sometimes the sticky dots are um, more than you need and then you'll get it all over your desk. So I just did it on a clear block and then that way you don't have to worry about um, getting it on your project. And that's a little too long. I'm gonna cut, uh, I've gotta go faster. Okay, so that's cute. Okay, I like just that little inside. So it's a, but you know what? I almost need some black out here too, so. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so we're going to just add a little bit of color right here to the edge. You know, sometimes you just need to add a little extra. So we're going to add that. And then, ooh, ooh, oh, that looks good. One more. You never know. See, this is totally, 
I love when I don't plan anything because then you never know what's going to happen. Okay, so now I got that on there. Now I just have to get the back. Kenny, be ready with that because I'm almost done. Because he's not paying attention. Hang on. I want this one to say made just for you. He's busy playing over there. Okay. Made just for you. Done. Stop, 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 stop. He didn't even stop. You were like 10 seconds late on the... You know what? You're a jerk because you were like 10... That was like 20 seconds late on hitting the stop. Why are you saying two? Two what? Two seconds? No, it was like 20. You know what? I'm not even going to tell them the time. Do I have to tell the time? He, he acts like he can't speak. It's 6 minutes 43 seconds, but we have to take off like 30 seconds because it took him too long to hit stop. But, you oh, know, isn't it cute? Actually, it turned out really cute. I love fast cards because sometimes they're my favorite. <laughs> okay, so it says it's a party. Oops, I got an extra scrap there. Okay, so it's a party, and then I stamped the back, made just for you. Now, if I had more time, like the mailman wasn't here yet, what I would do is I'd add a little bit more. I'd color in the little beaks. I'd probably color them in a little yellow just to have a little... Do I have any markers? I don't have any markers here. Um, I, would co I would color in the, uh, the beaks. And other than that, I don't think I would add any more. Oh, you know what? Maybe I would add some twine. Hang on. Since it, the time's already stopped, we're just going to add some twine. And you know what? I got these beautiful... <laughs> roll spools from the twinery and I'm gonna beat one of my children not really but I'm, I'm kind of almost serious she couldn't find the end and she wanted to make these bracelets that she that really cute bracelets I should show them to you one day but so what she did was she took some scissors and she just cut it in the middle so now I have all these extra yeah nice nice child thank you I'm, I, t I keep telling Kenny I'm gonna get a lock from my office for the studio door well it's like my office slash where I work where I create and I keep telling him I'm going to get a lock so they can't come in. Although the old one doesn't come in. The young one does, though. But she's not young. She's old. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. The, I'm telling you. The twine just adds a little bit extra. So thank you, Twinery. Okay, so now I'm officially done. But still, we're just going to say it was, he says 6 minutes, 43 seconds. I'm going to say six and a half. How's that sound? Okay, thank you so much for joining me for another episode of a, uh, of a 30 second card in. Six minutes and 30 seconds-ish. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.